Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about the difference between the DTE and the DCE in regards to the Cisco CCNA and the Cisco CCNA curriculum. So you have the DTE I have here on one side and I've got the DCE on the other side. So what are the differences between the two? Well, typically the DTE is the router device and the DCE is the modem device. And this could be, let's say, a it could be a DSL modem or it could be a cable modem, right? And it's oftentimes called also the CSU, DSU in the curriculum. So you can use these names interchangeably for talking about the DCE. The DSL modem, the cable modem, this or CSU, DSU, all of those you can pretty much use interchangeably. This device, the DCE, also is the device that gets the clock rate. All right, so it handles synchronization through clocking, through clock rate, and the router typically does not get a clock rate. All right, so these are some of the differences that we're talking about here. Now, if we look at it in terms of, well, all right, you've talked about, let's say, the, the DTE here and the the DCE, but how does it relate to the equipment that we have and what we're using in the lab? So let's talk about that. Well, all right, let me just put this up here. So if we talk about that, you could say, well, I've got my, my PC, let's say, at home here, right? There's my PC at home, and then it connects, let's say, to my, my Linksys wireless router or my Belkin, my Netgear, my Cisco, whatever it is I have. So there's my router. So in this case, this is what we'd call the, I'll just drag this down here, the customer device, right? So the DCE, the DTE is the router. It does not get a clock, right? It's also called what we would call the customer device. So I've got my wireless router and there's my computer at home. And then it's going to connect to the DCE, which is a modem or CSU, DSU, which handles the clocking. And so in this case, we could say at home, Maybe it's a DSL modem that we have, like right here. Okay, and then let's say, let's just connect these two together so we can see them connected. So you can see that I'm clicking on the internet, so we're going out to the internet here and then over to the DSL modem, right? So this is on the internet port, right? And then on the inside, this would connect over here, let's say, Ethernet 1 to my host. Now, from the DSL modem, we would go out to the cloud to the internet. And so we'll just put a little, all right, so we'll go from there. Oh, we need to get a different connection. Let's see here. Phone line, there we go. Phone line out to, all right. Okay, so there we go. So now that's how we would be connected. So there is the internet connected to our modem. You can see here we've got the WAN connection and then from the modem to our router. And so this is a connection from the DTE, which is our router, to the DCE, right? And the DCE is responsible for the clock rate. The DTE does not get a clock rate. The DTE is what we would call the customer premises device. And the DCE is typically the service provider's device. So this is the service provider side, and this is the customer side. On the customer side, we have our wireless router. On the service provider side, we have our modem. Now, in the Cisco curriculum, we emulate this scenario a little bit differently. In the Cisco curriculum, what we use are two routers to emulate both the DTE and the DC. So let me drag them out right here. So we use an 1841 router, let's say, as the DT device, the router. But then we can also use an 1841 router to be the DCE side also. And when we do that, what we have to do is we have a serial connection. And on the serial connection, we need to put the DCE side of the serial cable on the side that we want to be our DC device. So I'm going to put it over here on serial zero and then over here to this router on its serial zero link. And you can see I've got the clock over here on the DCE side. Now in this scenario, we've got a serial connection from router to router, and 
the serial cable has a DCE side of the cable and a DTE side of the cable and right now the DC side of the cable is connected to the router over here and so this router is the router that needs to get the clock rate so this router will need to get the clock rate on the serial zero interface right here right so it's going to get the clock right there now we also can connect let's say PCs to the router here on the DT side and on the other side of the, on this interface here this Ethernet interface we can also put um, end devices like PC now in this scenario connecting the router to router from DTE to DCE is emulating essentially what we would call like a WAN connection so we could say that this is basically emulating what we could call a type of cloud connection going across the internet all right so DSL modem cable modem CSU DSU it gets the clock rate it's the service provider device all of these things are the DCE and on the DTE of course the DTE is typically the router does not get a clock rate it's the customer device typically and you can see we've got examples here and I've put this up here as well and this is how I laid it out in the class so once again modem equals the CSU DSU the DCE gets the clock rate it's the service provider device it can be a DSL modem a cable modem or any ISP type device right you can see here the difference between the service provider side and the customer side and you can see I've written here customer side service provider side all right the DTE and the DCE if we go down to my new diagram down here once again I can change the name of this router to the DTE right this is the router and on this side we could say this is going to be the DCE and this could be the CSU DSU right now on this port right here it's acting as the DCE but then once beyond this port when we talk about this port over here or the general function of this router this is also a router it's in the role of the DCE or the role of the CSU DSU in that it's getting the clock rate on the serial interface and this is of course emulating a basically an internet connection across the WAN now I hope that helps out in clarifying the differences between the DTE device and the DCE device